everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of The Last of Us. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of The Last of Us Part 2, baby. We're with the girls, Ellie and Dina. We're looking for Tommy, who's looking for the Liberation Front, who we are also looking for. Basically, we're looking. For, we're all looking for these hooligans who killed our boy Joel, Jolothy, and it was really sad, and we don't know why they did it, and we don't know who they are, but we are determined to find out said information, and it's probably not going to happen right now, but... We're determined to find that information and currently we're in this open world area where we're exploring and we're looking for gas but we're also just taking in all the sites going through all the little shops uh getting to know the character dina a little bit better we definitely know ellie but there was a little four-year gap in time so maybe we'll discover more about ellie's talents and we'll learn more about dina and the characters that they meet along the way so i've got my coffee as per huge, got a big old fat coffee and hopefully you guys have a drink wherever you are. I'm ready to do this thing, so without further ado, let's get into it. Downtown. And we made it here to the courthouse. And I got tilted because I fell down the elevator and it made me start the whole thing over. So that's where we're at, in case you missed it. Uh... Okay, we still have this part. Soldiers. Fedra. So that's weird. It kept the memory that we unlocked, but... I wonder if it kept the safe and stuff as well. Ooh, yes! This might come in handy. This thing. 860 or something? Yeah, 860 Hear me out, why can I never remember the name of uh, Mercedes, but I can remember numbers like it's nothing. sad. And there's the elevator. Parking garage. Mm -hmm. well, the gas is in there, right? Well, that's what the note said. Well, let's get down there. Okay. All right. I'm not going to die this time. Also, I'm going to save. Don't ask how I died. Okay. I don't want to talk about it. I pressed circle, which meant drop, and I died. It was an accident. I'm pressing X. <gasps> Wait. I'm going down, right? Oh, you can just slide yeah. down. I just pressed. <laughs> Oh yeah, things game. You tell me now. <laughs> Poor Ellie. I've put her through some shit, dude. Okay. Lee.
baby. My machete. Help me! Machete! Oh, okay. Blink. Baby. Wait, did I just pick up? Oh, I still have scissors. Jesus. Nice. I think that's all of them. Those filter guys never even made it out of a garage. Damn. Oh, it's fun, I guess. Just making sure I don't have to siphon. Here anywhere? Yes, let's go, <gasps> baby. I missed this game. It's been a long and twelve we, hours. Twenty four hours. Got gasoline. Our luck's changing. Don't you jinx us. <laughs> the fuck Fedrigate is calling to us. Mmm. I still don't like that. They're planning for the future. Our luck is changing. They're getting me a little bit too comfortable with Dina. Open sesame. Hmm. We're not climbing back up over here. Thanks. <laughs> Window? No. Oh, we got. Oh, hole in the wall. Anything we can push? Wait, what? Dina, coming. I am not available to talk about it. Nope. <gasps> okay, let go. Good job, babe. Thanks. Babe. Okay, gate. Babe. Okay, not yet. So yesterday I played for... Yesterday in real time. I played for a long... period of time, and we got some good headway in. But... There's so much more. I'm gonna go back down Madison Street and check out this little... square quadrant and then we're gonna also check out the wlf across the street and then i don't know if we checked out everything in the south yeah we got a lot to do in this area i did what i could after joel's death onward shimmer but it was a very emotional day you How know you back there getting homesick a little bit 
You? Uh, same. Miss having a roof over my head. You know, I've always dreamed of fixing up a farm just outside of Jackson. Why wouldn't you stay in town? I don't know. I like the idea of real space. Sounds lonely. Only if you're doing it alone. <laughs> okay. So are we gonna, like, raise sheep and milk cows? Are you making fun of me? <laughs> no. It actually sounds kind of nice. Really? Yeah. Really. No. There's something back here. Use gate code. West 2. I was about to ask which one, but thank you, game. We got 63 of these as well. Let's see. 100% crafting speed. Health. I'm just gonna go down the health tree, bro. Have I added anything to the journal? No, okay. Gate keys. West 2, right? 0451. And a trading card. Flow. 90, or wait, 80 brains, 80 brawn. Olga Kuznetsova. Olga Kuznetsova. Very common sounding name. Society of Champions. Graduating at the top of her class from a prominent sci-tech university, Olga Kuznetsova was recruited by the Russian government Kuznetsova? Kuznetsova. Kuznetsova. Not sure. Russian government to further their research into dark energy. Fearing the tech would be used for war, her attempt to sabotage their experiments resulted in her consciousness fusing with water vapor. Now she's able to channel her soul into any body of water and conjure objects in any form of water, so long as there's moisture in the air. Neutral hero. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I'm gonna craft a- Ooh. That takes precedence. Nice. Whoop. Should we get this gas back to the fuck Thedra gate? Yeah. No. <laughs> We got a whole map to explore. I feel like I should just trek on foot. For parts of it. Let's see. Damn, we just got this, this, this. Let's keep going south. South on our right is explored. I'm gonna see what's on those left buildings. There's two of them. Oh, that's the music store. Okay, did we already... I think so. Because it crosses it out when... You've done everything you can. We've been through here. Music shop. Have not seen these random ruins yet. Uh, is this place sturdy? Sightseer! Oh, no. Damn. Trophy level up. Look at this. Oh no, can we explore all of this? We're doing it. Hmm. Oh. 
Oops. Hmm. It's not marked off, though. There's something here. Could it be on this side? I feel like I can jump over there. I have to, right? There's no way through. Hmm. What is over here? There's this, and then there's the one... A graffiti up there. I jump on the railing. Can I do parkour with the horse? Can the horse jump? Come on, horsey. Damn it! Bruh. I'm about to Google this. Is there a way around the back? Idea, 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 or a dealer. There's glass I can smash. It's a new mechanic for me. I don't think I smashed a lot of glass in the last game, so I'm still getting used to it. Can I just Hulk smash it? <laughs> Yoink. Wee! Careful. Ha 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 ha. Yeah! Made it. What do we have here? Hello. Just broke her arm. Okay, I think that's everything here. Nice! Dr. Uckman. What we got? 100% brain, 60 brawn. The New Dogs, once a well-respected researcher, Dr. Uckman's questionable experiments in the realm of pushing human limits saw him ostracized from the scientific community. Even the morally compromised Laurent Foucault of Spark Laboratories found his work dubious. Undeterred, Uckman continued his work in secret, creating super AI to do his bidding and protect his research while he and the New Dogs stage high-tech heists to fund it all. Constantly moving his lab location so no one can find him, he longs for the day where his subjects will be treated as equals. Neutral villain. Nice, good find. It's kind of fun. Hell yeah! I'm glad we did that. What else we got? There's one to the south, but I didn't see anything in there. We're just gonna keep trekking. Wait, 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 one more time, one more time. Okay, we already got all those buildings. Yeah, one more completely straight ahead. We didn't see anything there. And then there's the big box. I don't know. I wonder what's in the big box. Ugh. Ow. My knees. 
go, Dina. Oh, wow. Under the bank. Check out the tank. Damn. This is really pretty. Oh, can we go inside? I've never seen one of these in action. This is like a Pan Am situation. Yikes. These guys had a bad day. What is it? Burnt skeletons. Not how I'd want to go out. Kind of like those astronauts. What are you talking about? One of the early moon missions, there was an electrical fire and the astronauts burned up in their capsule. Well, at least they died for something worthwhile. Exactly. These guys were just assholes killed by other assholes. Yep. furthering anything it's just needless violence oh roger following up on our fight from last night i hear your concerns and understand your reluctance but listen we're thinned fedra's numbers many of their soldiers have joined our fight and knowing they plan to sneak through our tunnels through out sneak out through the tunnels we have a rare opportunity to deal a final blow to torres and his thugs if we let them regroup then how many of our men will die our own have to come first you know that more than anybody I'm glad you're asking these questions. They are questions leaders wrestle with every day. I'm proud of the growth you've made, the soldier you've become, and the leader you'll be one day. Isaac. All of these names are... familiar. Kind of sad. Like, all these notes we found, it's the same people. From Isaac. Hmm. Torres. Yeah, Torres. Fedra. Hmm. Isaac, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Everything's in place. We'll be waiting. I know you're you've taken numerous risks. Wow. Also. Druckman? <laughs> well played. I read it and I was like... Is this him? But then he made himself a villain. Neutral. I guess that's a little bit more fun. All right. Achievement complete. Upon further investigation, we have completed this area. There's probably like some more areas that might have extra goodies but well, that was an adventure we got a lot of shit done have not found any of them yet hey it's a big city we barely started looking yeah you know just thought we'd see one of them right now all right back to the gate which was through the barrier this way actually I think it was this way at least. 
there was like a main square and we split off from there. Yeah. Gas time. Here we go. All right. That was like two seconds it. of gas. You put in the code. She just like blink. Okay, these old generators are. Pretty finicky, so it might take you a few tries to. Oh. Alright, go on. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Alright, let's see. Uh, get codes. East two. Five, three, four, five. Let's see. Oh, I'm excited to actually go into the city. Nice. Well, was that a no welcome to me. ducky keyboard? Oh, they're just waiting for us. Oh, I'm excited. We were there for a while. We cleared everything. This game is deceptively large. You see that? Infected just hopped that fence. Oh, means we can get in that way. Shouldn't we hear gunshots or something? I don't know what's going on. Infected just popped a fence. Dude, what? You have a code for this gate? Not sure. I think this one was blotted out. Oh, now we're we're still in the map. That's cool. I don't know if we had like gone off to another area. Yeah, I think this one was blurred out. <clears throat> mm hmm. Two, th nope. three, no for this one. One, four. Shit. Okay. Hmm. Should we leave the horsey back here and? Up the fence? I don't know. Fedra, Fedra, Fedra. Bro, this is insane. Look at that hotel. God, this game is so cool. It's the overgrown for me. All the wildlife and greenery and stuff. Mwah. No, I'm not looting. Okay. Let me in. Boy, is it to hop the fence? Ugh, no idea what to do here. Maybe we can get over there. Ah, thank you, game. Uh, recently, I got to see a really big fence slash gate in front of Buckingham Palace, and there were these guards posted outside of it, and they looked like toy soldiers, and they were very rigid and still, and, uh... We are trying to determine if they were actually there or not, and after like a couple minutes of watching them like weirdos, they had to switch arms for their rifle, and they were real people, and it was very freaking cool. Very cool. That just like sprung to mind. Eey. One. Is that it? Looks like that's it. We can handle one. Easy peasy.
fun little like water motif going on. There was a seahorse on the sign and now there's like these water serpent thingies. He went left. Is there more? Oh, they're feasting right in front of me. Oh, yummy. One on the left, two in front. Okay, you know what this is? Walked right into it. Nice. Hell yeah, brother. I just totally cheated out of that. <laughs> oh, this poor lad. Ugh. This one's fresh. And he's got one of those wolf patches. Mm-hmm. Huh. Wolf. WLF. Guess they didn't make it out with their gas after all. That's good, right? Those fuckers who killed Joel got taken out by some random infected. Mm-hmm. Then they'd still be dead, Ellie. I'm not sure that's justice. Ooh. Might as well grab what we can while we're here. Justice and revenge is a dish best served pot or something? I don't know. Insert, like, motivational quote here. All right, more hotels. Definitely different from The Last of Us Part 1 hotel vibes. Those had like grandiose ceilings, a lot of gold. This one's more... Wood. Wood. That's all I got. It's more wood. Kind of eclectic. Like, look at this golden dogs with the weird ocean thing going on. Abstract art. Castle. Ooh, more coffee. Aw, they don't have the names of the beers. In The Last of Us Part 1, it was like that one beer that was at every hotel. On every... It's better to call it a spigot. On every, uh... Handle. It was the same old beer. What we got? Any safes? Hmm. This would not last the It's a shame. Jalka. Now we get the Molotov out of your hand. See, look, they got this weird, like, seahorse motif. But then they have, like, a globe. And random carpeting. Like, I don't know what they were doing with the architecture, but it was something. All right, let's get out of here. Just throw metal pipes, why don't we? Been shot. You recognize him? No. Maybe someone else killed these guys. The infected just wandered in. Ooh. Someone went on a yeehaw shooting spree. Brah, brah. Damn. Rations or something. Well, not rations or like. 
More like military supplies. There's canteens and duffels and stuff. Army mats. We used to have to walk around with those and do PT out in the street or the gravel or the dirt. You just have to carry your mat with you so you could work out in any conditions. Yep. Hey, found their gas. Yeah. Well, if we need any more, we know where to get it. Found the gas. All right. I can only wait to see what the room design is like. The entrance to the hotel, the middle atrium was already something to behold. So, oh boy, don't get me started on the rooms. Let's see, are they gonna be ocean themed? Are they gonna be wood cabin? Are they gonna be Picasso? Like, what are we doing? Let's see. 80s deck, like, or not 80s, just like deco. I don't recognize this one either. Here we go. All right, blue carpeting with regal curtains and a chandelier. Vintage regal mirror with dolphins. They kept the ocean motif. Dolphins, sea life, shark boy. Bathroom is just gray with flower carpeting. Okay. Huh. All right. Somehow they tied it all together. Saturday, March 29th. Our strike against the Fedra checkpoint worked. Killed at least three of those thugs, just a few wounded on our side. In the wake of our losses, it felt good to hit back. That night, we voted Isaac as the new commander. Oh! Our boy Isaac. Uh, it was a contentious meeting. His summary execution of those prisoners still doesn't... Yeah, his summary execution of those prisoners still doesn't sit right with some people, but I like him. He can make the tough calls. Friday, April 4th. I'm fucking exhausted, but for a good reason. We've had eight new recruits show up in the last few days, and six are Fedra deserters. Isaac's directive is clearly fucking working. It's either that or all those are fly or all those flyers. Ah, flyers. People are taking us seriously now, finally seeing the WLF as a real alternative. We'll kick those fascists out and rebuild on the foundations Emma and Jason laid. Hmm. Yay. Know it all. Sheila Kim. Brains 100 plus. We're on 20. Affiliation Spark. A world famous researcher diagnosed with an early form of dementia, Sheila Kim reached out to Spark in desperation. How could they do something to slow her mental decline? They agreed to implant an experimental nano AI drive in her brain, allowing her to not only retain her knowledge, but accrue new information at a massive rate. Now she's arguably the smartest person alive and Spark's new chief technology officer, overseeing their military research arm. Some argue that she's lost her conscience. Others wonder whether the AI has taken over her mind. Neutral villain. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That must have been quite the shell shock, though. It's like she's freaking out because she's got dementia and she's reaching out for help, and then she randomly turns into, like, one of the smartest people alive. Quite the twist, huh? I think this is closed off. Mm hmm ah!
the fuck happened here? Tommy did this. This? No way. That was definitely him. He's one of the ones that killed Joel. Shit. There's another one over here. Who is this one? Seven three oh two. I don't recognize him. He was using them against each other. How? Joel told me about this. You ask this guy a question, but you don't make him say it. You make him write it down. Mm-hmm. And then you ask this guy. And if they match. And if the facts match. Yep. You're telling the truth. I don't do this in my free time. I was just, I just. Yeah. You fuck him up. I just know things, okay? That sounded really sus, the way I just, like, answered that, like, nonchalantly, I swear. East one. Another gate code? Mm-hmm. Looks like it. This just happened now. Mm-hmm. He can't be far off. Yeah. God, I love her haircut. I'm, I kind of miss my short hair, but we're growing it out. Longest it's ever been. Damn. Tommy is on a on. blood get out this way. rampage. Yeah. Tommy is livid. You're telling me I can make that jump, but I couldn't jump out of that window? Bruh. Let's get him, let's get him. You said Tommy had a rough past, but... Fuck. I know. Are you okay? Let's get our boy. It wasn't pretty. I don't want you to think bad of Tommy. Ellie, if I had my sister's killers tied to a chair, I'd do worse. Sister's killers? That's Did we already know that... The generator. I'll open the gate. Her sister was killed? Code? The one written in blood? 7302. <laughs> got it. And I got this. Big question, though. Where does this take us? Say we find shelter and we set up camp. Maybe somewhere high up so we can scope out the area. There's no one here. Do. Okay. Let's look for an open building. Preferably with no infected. Or WLF. Wolves. Whatever. I still have some of those almond things left if you're hungry. Eh, not really. You should eat something. Oh my god. What? I sounded like my mom just now. <laughs> I'll be fine. Closed off area. Hmm. Dude. Why would we find- I guess we haven't seen any people, so they could be, like, hiding out. We've gotten really lucky thus far. I don't like this. Get the other! Don't lose her! Go! Shit! What the 
My heart. I'd ever see you again. I think I was in shock. How'd you find us? I asked about a dude with a bitch scar across his face. Mm. It's funny. How many came with you? Shimmer. Hmm? Just you two? You can't stop this. Jordan. Supposed to be out looking for the other one. The fuck is this? You know the smuggler that we killed out in Jackson? Yeah. This girl was there. What? They're coming after us. That's why Nick was fucked up like that. We gotta get her to Isaac. We gotta tell him exactly what's going on. Yeah, well, I just got off the radio with Isaac. Isaac! And we got a new mandate. Kill all trespassers. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. That doesn't make any sense. It's direct order, man. No, let's talk to her. Let's figure out what she I, knows. I don't give a fuck what she knows. You saw what she did to the others? You have no idea how many people she might be with. This might be an ambush, I don't care Mike. how many people she's with. We will find them and we'll kill them. Can you just think for yourself for a quick Jordan, second the right fuck now? Out of my way. What is happening? Look at that later. Was there a TV station on that map? I don't fucking know. Come on. Fuck, Ellie. Who shoots a horse in the head? I'm not over that. We will avenge Shimmer. Go around. What the fuck? Stop him! Do I have to use this? Y'all know I don't like hunting rifles. Give me a shotgun, let me blast him. Son of a bitch. Let's go. How many guys did you see? Enough. We gotta get the hell out of here. Is there anything else in there? Any other supplies? Nothing, 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 nothing. Oh, ammo. Critical. We have all our shit. We're good. We got a sudden bomb. We're good. Let's go, baby. Ooh. It was this way. Move up. Clear the rooms. Alex. Fuck. Jesus! Good job. I need ammo. Here, you son of a biscuit. Eat my balls! <laughs> Jesus! That was actually pretty mean. 
That was, that was pretty brutal. I don't feel bad about that one, but they suck. So loot, 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 loot. Oh, that's Nina. I was about to. Mama. You good? Yeah. You recognize any of these guys? No. Jinx is here. She wants to be in the chaos. Hi, Jinky. Hi, little baby. My god. That's all you guys get for killing Shimmer. Hi, baby. What is it? Are you mad about Shimmer too, Jinx? Hi, Jinky. Hi, little baby. Goodness. She's pissed. Mayhaps I can heal my halfsies. Look at the kitties. Here she is. Hi, little baby. What are you doing? Cat acquired. Safety drinks is here. Let's fuck him up. Everybody down here now. Uh. Where those shots come from? I don't know. Search the courtyard. You hold the cafeteria. I'll cover it here. Holy shit! Just for Above you! More of them! Oh, motherfucker! Light him up! How are you? Don't let her escape! Hey! you? Fuck! You're fucking dead! There's one more behind the tree. Oh, I'm out of ammo. That sucks. Jinx! Stop it! Stop it! I love you. Stop it. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of them. I told you. All right, we're out of ammo, but they're all dead, so maybe they have some. Gimme, gimme, gimme. No. Gimme, gimme. A manual. Perhaps. Damn, look at this architecture though. This was a sick school. Like that, we walked by uh, some classrooms and the library and like, look at this open courtyard area. That's so fun. Go out there and play or whatever. I don't know what age this school is, but like. This looks like a cafeteria. Yeah, lunch rules. Imagine, like, for lunch, you have, like, these huge windows looking out into this courtyard area with trees and stuff. That's really neat. Maybe that's not the time for that, but... Now's not the time to discuss that. But... It's cool. Have a look here. Mm hmm Fuck these wolves. Steal their shit. Yes, ma'am. What do we got? Anything? Oh, no. Over there. Time to murder. Oh. Get down. Hello? Where Adrian control? I guess I could just sneak. Fuck. Hey, you two! Trespassers gone! What? You seen anything? No. Cover this roof. I'll check over here. 
sure she's not uh, on the street? Did you look? How would she get down there? I don't know. Can I bite their ankles? Been called in. Greg went out to Capitol Hill. He should be back with those guys any minute. Where are you going? Down there. God damn it. No one here. This doesn't feel right. Come with me. Let's check. Can I speed crawl? Alright, I'm guessing I'm going towards that. Da, 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 da. Oh god. Oh my god, so much loot! From here on out, kill all trespassers. We'll send additional units to locate the other woman. Return to the fob by EOD, end of day. Bring all available supplies. So Isaac, this guy we've been reading about is actually still the leader of this group that killed Joel. Well, the WLF, which we already knew that, but. What do we got, guys? Nothing over here. What about this? Let's do it. <gasps> go, 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 go. Hurry up. Let's try it. Dogs? Come on. No way they added the dogs to this school. game. No. There has to be a way down to the street somewhere. Sons of bitches. All right, let's continue this shindig. getting pretty spicy, so we're on the lookout for Tommy. We've already found some of the wolf members. Oh, damn, she's way ahead of me. I wanted to jump over here and see if there's anything back here. Damn. Four monitors. We got a gamer. What is this? Cardio? Pedro Rojas. 60 brains, 60 brawn. Affiliation, none. Pedro Rojas was a long distance runner who dreamed of winning but always came up short. When Spark offered him limitless stamina in exchange for using him as a test subject for their new Velocitane Velocitanium artificial hearts, he immediately accepted the deal and then escaped, going into hiding. Now known as Cardio, he can run faster and farther than anyone alive. Pursued by Spark, they still want him back to finish their experiments. They'll just have to catch him first. Hero. Nice. Don't jump out of windows. La di da. Nice. Good find. We need to get to the street. Mm-hmm. I need ammo. We wrecked those guys up at the school. I mean, bullets. Aww. Bunch of board games. Controllers.
We got a lot of pills. I'm waiting for the next manual, though. To, uh... Upgrade. There was a chest in the closet. Yeah, buddy. I want to see what the next skill tree is. Alright, coast looks clear. Yeah. I think we're good. Alright. Check this out. She's one of them. Oh my. Well, fuck her then. <laughs> Read the letter. Jordan. Isaac's got us posted up on a two-week at the TV station. Scars spotted in the area. Here's something to hold you over, Leah. TV station. You think she's still there? We gotta find out, right? So... Spy all these tall buildings. That way. Okay. Let's go get Leah. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, the transition from the cutscene straight back into the gameplay. Mwah, magnifique. Wee! Ow. I'm forever gonna be haunted by yeah that one jump. I thought I was fucked back there. Thanks for the save, by the way. Of course. We were scared for Dina for a second there, dude. So, those are the wolves. They're really armed. Yeah, they are. Do you think there were gonna be this many of them? Tommy said this was a possibility. Does that change anything for you? No. There's this way, and then there was an alley to the right. Keep I'm gonna... an eye out for patrols. There were a bunch trying to smoke me out around here. How many? I passed two, but I got a feeling there were more. And once they realize we're out of the school... And that we killed their fucking friends. They'll be out in force looking for us. Mm-hmm. See, this body of water I can handle. This isn't bad. Wee. See? No piranhas. Or sharks, or creepy, crawly ocean creatures, you know? Do not swim if you are ill. It feels weird that we just walked into this entire pool area and there was literally nothing here. Come on, no one left a trading card? No kids were here with their Pokemon cards? Come on. Nothing? And there was nothing in the water. Sus. Is there anything in this? Nope. All right. Let's go down this alley. Oh, this is a nice place. Left in these buildings. There's always something left behind. Left behind. There we go. Canard esque. Gior Georgina Canard, brains eighty, brawn forty. Society of Champions. A brilliant lawyer with a stringent adherence to the rule of law, Kennard Georgie to her friends, is the best known defense lawyer for heroes who are accused of negligence, excessive force, destruction of property, and reckless endangerment. Her notoriety has brought her a fair share of unwanted attention, but between her black belt in Aik Aikido and having the entire society of champions on speed dial, most are wise enough to let her pursue justice undisturbed. Nice. Sounds like a badass. This is a nice townhouse 
this kitchen. Super open, and then the living room. I like this place. Much better than the stinky hotel. The wine. Yeah, I like that. Aw. Super nice. Every time I play this game, I'm just like secretly going house hunting. <laughs> yeah, this was the alley. Go down this way. This leads back to the pool. Ugh. Huh. Does the other one have a bathroom too? Pretty close to eye level. Like you pee and you're right there. Looking someone in the eyes. It's a little bit higher, thankfully, but. Dina, fresh blood. Mm hmm. I'm ready. That's what I was saying. Where's the blood? This guy. I heard a crash. Bitch! Mm-mm, not this time. Got him? Yeah. Shit. Oh, my heart's losing. Same. We're gonna stick with our machete. At the moment. It's doing good for us. We're alright, we're alright. Whoa, 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 put that away, Ellie. No need to walk with that. Remember this type thing? Mine was slightly different. It had um like an iPod port and you would put the iPod in it and it was like a speaker system. I was trying to remember if they had that in 2003. I don't think they did, so maybe this is different. Mine was an iPod speaker. Nice. Ooh, an in. Damn. Something keeps bugging me. Why didn't they kill you and tell me when they had the chance? I don't know. It seems reckless. Maybe they're dumb. Maybe. What? Could be that you just weren't who they were looking for. So they let you go. Mm hmm. Yeah, well, they did beat the shit out of us. The one guy Jordan kicked my face in. Yeah, but why do you think that they didn't finish it? It doesn't matter. They fucked up. They did. I don't know. 
Ellie doesn't know Joel's full history. She's missing the crucial what was part. The name of the girl in the note? The one in the TV station? Leah. Was she the one? Uh, was she the one with the braid? No. Only thing I remember about her was the sound of her crying over that sadistic fuck's face when I sliced him open. <sighs> so, how do you want to handle her? I know what she knows. Find out where the others are. Go from there. Mm -hmm. You gonna ask her why they did it? Yeah. Any yep. of this jogging memories of stuff Joel said about his past? Mm. Nothing new. What are the chances he did stuff that you don't know about? Hi. He wasn't, um, he wasn't very big on sharing. Mm-hmm. I wonder what Tommy's making of all this. You probably know more about all the people Joel crossed. Hmm. Just a bit. Just a bit. Tommy knows all the lore. Oh yeah, because like at the beginning introduction scene, they were going through, it was still set four years prior, and it's when he brought them in, or brought her in, and was like, hey, here's the deal, this is what happened. I literally saved her life, and we fled. And Tommy was like, I would have done the same thing, so... I don't think there's gonna be anything in this back alley. But, is another room. Jeez. Oh, trading card! Yes! I'm so glad I went in here. Rockefeller trading card. Let's go. Who's this fella? Eh? Eh? Norman Stryker, 60 brains, 100 brawn. That's the first, like, brawny boy we've met. Society of Champions, real estate and construction magnate, Norman Stryker's crowning magnate? Magnate? Magnate. Stryker's crowning achievement was the Spark headquarters, both the part visible to the world and the massive subterranean laboratory complex. When he walked in on a secret experiment, Laurent Foucault tried to dispose of him in a quarry explosion. When the Society of Champions couldn't pull Stryker out of the rocks, Dr. Stem made the rocks a part of Stryker. Now covered head to toe in rock armor, Rockefeller aims to tear the Spark headquarters down brick by brick, and he knows the place better than anyone. Neutral hero. Sick. Rockman. He's a rocky fella. Rocky fella. Glad we did that little... Alleyway exploration. Hope there's like some lore up here. Mm. What in the random balcony? That's beautiful. Huh. I think that was it. Let's go upstairs into this dump with this dumpster. What are you doing with that? It's stuck. Hey, maybe try getting it off the curb. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Did it. Now what are you gonna do with it? I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> I'll keep watch. I don't see anything. This is a cool apartment, too. Look at this. This is nice. All the blue and the paintings and the carpet. This is awesome. 
Very hip. Oh, man. Viv, we were robbed last night. It was Jimmy. I hope he acted alone. If you guys are in a rough spot, you can talk to me. I care for you and your son. Now more than ever, we need to be looking out for each other. There are enough criminals running this city. Add a little salt and some water to these, and it almost tastes like the real thing. It's not much, but hopefully it'll help get you to the next drop-off, at least. Raul. For Raul. Yeah, this is a really cool house. There's some, like, Warhammer figurines or something? I don't know. <laughs> and they had a dog. Oh. What's that? Is that a flashbang? The fuck is this? Some kind of bomb? Mouse trap. Huh. Nice craftsmanship. Mm-hmm. Trap mine. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah, this is nice. I've never lived somewhere bikeable. Saw a bike in the kids' room. Something nice about, like, Atlanta. I think it was the... Was that the Atlanta in the previous game, or am I thinking Walking Dead? Boston. In this one. And then Seattle. Being able to get on your bike and ride to the city and stuff. Was it worth it? Yeah. I died from all. that height. Forever salty. I died at approximately the same height. Let's pull that dumpster over there. What the heck, man? I got scammed. Yay! I can still kind of see the buildings. How you want to go? Uh, let's see. Eh? Let's see. <gasps> eh. Let's see. <laughs> Ooh, more little exploration areas. Let's see. Indeed. Never mind. <laughs> hmm. Dude, I just like poop my pants. What the fuck? Why are we growing? I only see two. so we can go back and eat, okay? No way we'll find her before scars are infected. Good. We'll find the body and let's bring her back.
You're right, I did have a horse before you murderers killed it. Assholes. I'm killing these guys. They brought up Shimmer. They have to die. I was gonna stealth through the area, but it's personal now. Nancy's. There's a dude right there. And then two dudes down there. Over there. In that store. Hi, Jinky. My little baby. Come here. I love this, like, urban warfare thing we got going on. We're just like... Going through the buildings, jumping through windows, going through balconies. This is sick. We had some of that in The Last of Us Part 1, particularly in uh, the town area with, like, the tank and stuff. But, yeah. This is cool. Jinky's in my lap now. She's watching me commit murder. Shh. Therefore, automatically invisible. Jesus. Jake, stop it. She's trying to eat my lip gloss. Where'd these hoes go? They were just here! Where'd they vanish off to? What the heck? Did they go upstairs? I missed it! Two more! Hi, Jinky! Hi, little baby! Oh my gosh, she's on my keyboard. Stop it. Hi, little baby. Do not press keyboard. Stop it. Okay. We're good. She's just laying on my desk. Hi, little baby! Kathy? Oh god. They're back! Kathy! Someone got her! No, not Kathy! There's someone here! No, there's not. Start a sweet people. All two of you? Can I double kill him? <laughs> that was pretty brutal. I will admit, that was pretty brutal. Start a sweet people! But Bazinga! Are they all dead? Oh, there's more. I heard it. Just one? Four total? Nina, move! Get your fat booty! Get your thick booty out of the way! Nice. Any left? I don't think so. Did I do that? Good. Shit. Nice. Good work, Dina. You recognize her? Dina! None. Dina. Her name is Dina. I keep calling her Nina because I was playing a game called Sons of the Forest, which is the sequel to the forest, and there's cannibals in that game, doesn't matter, there's monsters, and I named one of the cannibal monsters Nina, so I keep calling her Nina out of instinct, but it's Dina. Man, this QZ is huge, right? It's pretty massive. You think the wolves are spread out all over it? Probably. I sure hope not. 
They probably are. Dina's a badass. Ellie's met her match. Let's get up on this roof and see what's here. Dina's a badass. I like her style. Not that she really has much of a choice. She's got a cute, cute looking face. She's got a nice booty. I approve this. I approve this for Ellie. Until she dies and we're left all alone just like Joel was for his whole life. Any loot? <laughs> All right, let's see what we missed. Hi, Jinky. Hey, Joel died a happy man. He saved his second chance of a daughter from imminent death and brain surgery you know, you robbed the world of a vaccine, but potentially, not confirmed, but he had a life with his daughter for four years. We're going to go in that clothing store. Yeah, Nancy's. I didn't go in there yet. Uh, yeah, four whole years. He got the sh got shot at an actual life, so... Halloween, aw. Anything in here? Just Halloween stuff. Some of this stuff is funny looking. I'm not a fan. <sighs> that just punched my heart. Whew. My heart just like fell into my stomach. If you know, you know. Which made me really sad. <sighs> Whoever said you don't have to play the DLC, DLC to play part two? I would have been at a disservice, disadvantage. It would have been a disservice to not play the DLC. It is most definitely a continuation of the base game, not just like additional content. Let's see what we got here. All this overgrown grass. You can just smell it. I miss grass. But I don't miss bugs. I'd rather go visit places with grass. To touch grass. But not have to deal with mosquitoes and spiders and... Other critters. Hey, crafting bench. Hold up. I'm about to Minecraft this bitch. First, I'm gonna check all this stuff because there could be additional crafting materials. This is absolutely loaded with stuff. Nice. Three out of three. Three more? Shit, he asked you to do to them, though. And they're fucking crying. It's rough. 
This is a good time, right? Crafting in peace. Jesus, Jesus before we were solid we... back there. How many guys did they send looking for you? Rudely interrupted. Too many. Damage increase. I like the revolver. <sighs> Good job, Nina. Dina. Eventually, I'll learn the names of the characters in this game. Probably not, though. Stability, reload speed, a yo. Alright, we did a, some good work. We got 78 smackaroonies left. Let's. I'm mostly a revolver and a shotgun kind of gal, so let's put the rest of it to work. 40-40. Fire rate, recoil, stability. I honestly don't need a lot of stability because you just blast this thing anyway, so I'd rather have a quicker fire rate. You don't really need to be stable. It's not like it's accurate anyways. It's a widespread. You just need to point, click, shoot, boom. Shotgun qualification. Look straight ahead and pull the trigger and you will hit something. All right. I wonder if I missed anything. There's so much to explore in all these areas. Oof. Brutal. That's brain? I, yeah, yeah, I don't want to look. Ugh. Oh no, the milk! That's expensive in this economy. Soda. It was chocolate, too! God. Chocolate cows are the rarest cows! That's fucked up, man. Oh, yeah, I don't even blame them for taking all the eggs. Eggs are like five million dollars nowadays. Where was this? Mm-hmm. Automobile shop. That makes sense with the entire bay for loading in vehicles with all their tools and the workbench. Yep, that's... Checks out, Aurelia. Nice one. Good thinking. It's good. Real, uh... Real observant of you. Do these machines work? Alright, we definitely... I'm not gonna mention that I headshotted every single one of those guys. But I am gonna mention that I headshotted every single one of those guys. I nailed that. I didn't want to jinx it, like, mid-fight and fuck it up. <laughs> I don't trust bathrooms. We good? That's nasty. All right. I didn't want to. I didn't want to jinx it and like get too down and be like, I'm gonna headshot all of these guys and then whiff it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
Speaking of breaking glass and new mechanics, it's not new. I just didn't do it very much in the first game. It didn't seem necessary, but you've had to break glass to get through several areas thus far. The dodging mechanic is really neat. And like the whole grass thing, I like how they added some more dimensions to the way that you fight. And Ellie is so schmul. Danina! Come this way. Books. Man, Naughty Dog loves their bookstores, and I'm here for it. Let's go. Coffee and music? Oh, yeah. I'm in. Please don't be booby-trapped like the last one. I heard something. Infected. Three? Bookstore people? Bro, this is why you don't touch grass. This is what happens when you touch grass. You get a fungus infection. They all seem to be past that door, so I'm gonna go in here first. Fran, it's happening. Early Sunday morning. Keep your people off the streets. Be careful what you say. If Isaac finds out I talked, I'm fucked. Whole thing should be quick. Not a lot of Fedra left in your neighborhood. As we clear neighborhoods, we're moving everyone to the base. People shouldn't freak. It's temporary. Helps us keep track of good guys versus bad guys. Can't wait to sleep in the same bed with you again. No more sneaking notes in that stupid studio. Rebecca. So is this like a third group Isaac's people versus Fedra versus the people that were just wanted to like live their normal lives that's really interesting step in from the rain try our hot chocolate oh Seattle I would have loved hanging out in this place got board games and coffee and music Last round, the survivalist magazine, the camouflage issue. Protect, deceive, and hide with the best. Our 15 tips from renowned experts to show you how. Also inside, 12 duct tape brands compared rainwater collection techniques. Well. Stealth? Silencers. Until it breaks. Improved? Bro, we're maxing out the stealth tree. Oh, yeah. What do you need, like a bottle cap? Oh my god, you actually just need a bottle. <gasps> no! There was one in the... Oh, there was one somewhere. In the mechanic shop, in the bathroom. I'm sure we'll find more, but now I want to shoot stuff. Heck. Can we come back? I want to test out this new silencer. We'll come back to the bookstore. I'm literally going all the way back to find a bottle because I want to play with our new toys. <laughs> I want to try our new toys. This is like when I got the flamethrower. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. One second. Detour time. Give me a bottle. Any bottle. I saw one in here, I thought. Was it on the bathroom floor? Wait. What's the difference between this bottle and a bottle bottle? What is... Canister... Why the fuck is it canister? What is that? It's a canister. I get a canister. There's gotta be a canister around. We're in a huge area. 
I know what a canister is, like, from the English language. I don't want you guys to be like, this bitch doesn't know what a canister is. She has a, per she has a pretty large vocabulary, and you're telling me she doesn't know what the word canister is? I'm familiar with the concept of a canister, but I am mad that they separated bottles and canisters. Okay. I'm gonna find one, damn it. We're going back. This is very important. Canister Schmanister. Nothing down there. I would have grabbed it though. Cause I have zero and if I was, if I already went through here, I would have grabbed one. grabbed one. Heck. Alcohol. <gasps> Ammo. Mm. All right. We'll get back to it. We'll find a canister eventually. Let's just go in there and blow these hoes up. I got Molotovs for days. We got three of three. No, 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 no. We're gonna go from the inside. Here, kitty, kitty. All that clarity. One left, one here, and there's one on the right. Yep. Okay. You know what, you goofy goobers? Oh, it closes. Oh, that's good to know. Whoops. Pick it back up? Oh my god, I can. What the hell? Nina Dina almost just lost her life. Canisters? Yeah, this is a really neat place. <gasps> Trading cards. Dr. Stem. Let's see what this is about. Oopal Roy. 100 brains, 40 brawn, Society of Champions. Losing both of her parents to cancer at a young age, Oopal Roy threw herself into science studies, determined to never let anyone experience the pain and loss she felt as a child. Now known as Dr. Stem, she collaborates with doctors and scientists around the world on life-saving and life-enhancing technologies. She also works with a society of champions to shut down Spark's more nefarious schemes with technology of her own. Her tenacity and refusal to accept defeat is both her biggest strength and greatest source of torment. It's badass. That is bad ass. 
Wish we could like play some music. That would be fun. Wait, no, I don't. Copyright. <laughs> it's a subtweet. Minus the sub. I'm just straight tweeting. It's fine. I'm fine. Pills. Okay, carry on. Stick. Can't believe we still have our machete. It's only got two uses left, but the thing was metal. Is there anything? More company. Where? If you ask me, deserters are the worst. Aww. Pride flag. And crosswalk. And another one. Wow. I just noticed that. <laughs> we like ran right by it. Two flags. Minimum. And a crosswalk. That's awesome. Maybe we could head down there. Yeah. With all the voices. Oh, hey there. Hunting rifle. Pa chow! She said maybe we can head down there, so let's not head down there because that sounds like it's a story plot location. Let's go this way. get back on her feet and try to kill me. I knew it. I was like, is she actually gonna just like sit there and behave? See any others? Nope. Of course not. I gave a chance. I was merciful. I was merciful. This QZ is swarming. We just need a minute to talk with her. See, payback. Do I have to? Payback. One for shimmer. And two to show you guys I don't just kill doctors in hospital rooms, okay? Hi, Jinky. Hi, Jinky. See, I I have a soft side. I don't just kill unarmed doctors for fun. Okay? I gave her a chance and she was a little bitch, so I killed her. It's like llamas with hats. What would happen, Carl? Uh Stabbed him 37 times in the chest. Carl, that kills people. My tummy was making the rumblings. I had a craving that only hands could satisfy. Throwback? Everyone. 
There's clickers. What is happening? Where are the bad guys? Okay, one, two, three. One. Oh, there's the human. Look at that! Ah! 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 Shit! Ah! 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 Oh, I'm a machete! Oh my dodge! Ay, 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 Let the clickers have him. God damn it! Clickers! Get him! Nina! She's impenetrable! She's invisible! She's speed! She is stealth! Get him! Let the clicker eat him! Nom, 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 nom. Go, 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 go! Yummy! Alright, they're busy. Nina was just a stealth queen. Dina. Fuck. Which one is it? Dina. Dina, 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 Dina. Dina was straight chill. Is that a canister? Oh my god. Oh my god, a canister. I have longed for this day. God bless. We have a silencer now. I don't know if now's the time for a silencer because everyone's screaming and running around, but. Any more? Anything else? Let me just loot real quick while everyone's distracted. Sergeant Frost! Oh god, that is at the time. Okay, we'll have to come back and get that card. We'll look at it later. I'm a busy woman. With an agenda. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. Molotov! Alright. Maxed out. Let's go. Are these hoes still around? Oh, it's always a pistol. That makes sense. all the stuff die? Fuck. Fuck was that? Nothing. Dude, this is badass. Okay. Shh. What was that? Was that a fly? Zing. Two more up there at the minimum. There's one directly to my 12 o'clock and there's one about my 11 o'clock. There he is. Shh. Oh my god, I can aim. Well, ne Dina, Nina, go! It's your fat booty. P-H-A-T. I know it's I know it's thick, but sheesh! I'm trying to kill people. You can't have all that ass. Blink. That's crazy. Here! Here! Ah! Ah, there she is. Oh, it's the baseball chick. If I'm ever in a in a pickle, if I'm ever caught in a pickle, I'm just gonna whip out a a pipe. You got it! Whole ass drain pipe. People are gonna be like, what are you doing? This is serious. And I'm gonna be like, I am serious. Come here, bitch. Get out of here! Good job, Danina. Hey. Come here, booty. Cover. I forgot how to switch shoulders. Doesn't matter. Okay. One up top, there's a sniper dude. Shut it down! 
Oh, there's still one on top. Don't touch me, Nadina. One more. I saw you. All quiet. You good? She got him! Yeah. You know what? Wow. Our I'll woman. through this checkpoint wall. Those buildings are on the other side. Look around. There has to be a way over. Nice. Let's get up to the second floor. Damn, look at all this booty. Nice. Restock. missed some stuff. I'll come back for the second floor. Yeah, we didn't check out this bank area where they were messing around with the infected in there. Let's start in the back. Oh, this is the same board from earlier in the game. I don't remember where we were. We were running through an area and it also said practice, hard work, focus, and there was like a pie chart and a graph and stuff. I don't think I mentioned anything about it because I was like, this is insignificant, but I guess everyone was following the same training plan for their office workers, I guess. Oh, a safe would have made perfect sense. Is there a safe somewhere in here? It's a bank! Is there a safe? Any hot single local safes in my area? No? Okay. No explosives. I think we're pretty solid on stuff and things, you know? We did the bank. We did the corner shop over there. We did, like, the grocery store. I think we've done all the things. Yeah, we thoroughly searched that. Flowers. Hmm. There you go, Burrows. <laughs> and smoothies. There's a smoothie shop there, too. versus doors at the same. Hey, hey. Ah! Shut up! Eat my 
<laughs> Yeet. Is that it? <laughs> what in the world was that? A little jump scare action. What the heck? Was he the only one just like chilling up here? Buddy, you didn't hear all of your friends dying outside? What hey, the heck? I think it's this way. No. He was just like up there. It was just him. That was it. That was the whole... Like the music started up. Got me a little scared. Canister! Yes. Instant craft. Yes. Ooh. Whole med kit? Damn. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is kind of disorienting. There's so many like walls and bookshelves and stuff. I feel like a rat running through a maze. I think that's it, though. I think that's the whole building. <gasps> Bruh. Once again. With the whole window thing. Okay. We got over. Now what? We walk through. No. Molotov? Hmm. Hey, Dina. Yeah. Give me your hand. Me. Hey, that round building. Tower. It looks like the TV station from your map. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Come on. It's gonna be like the garden. Please don't I have don't a million. I would have done all this without you. <clears throat> Clicky Look boys. You. Shut up. Uh -huh. I never would have let you do this by yourself. Oh shit. <laughs> What the fuck was that? I ran into a trap. A what? Explosive traps. Watch where you're walking. Huh. Okay. I feel like Bill has been here. Candelabra. We got candelabra and we have one more. Mm, Sir Frost or something. Shotgun ammo. Now let's check these things out. Anything new? Aw, shimmer. Too soon. Candelabra. Sophie Alcoin. Brain 60, Brawn 80. Affiliation Society of Champions. A beacon on the darkest night, this heroine earned her moniker when people first saw fire emitting from her hands and flowing through her hair. Originally from the volcanic Auvergne, Auvergne region of France, she fell into an active lava pool while protecting her little brother from Dr. Uckman's henchmen. Left for dead, she emerged from the pool alive and capable of wielding fire as a weapon. 
as long as she doesn't get cold. When not working with the Society of Champions, she spends her days hunting Dr. Uckman, whom she believes is holding her brother captive. Sergeant Frost. Is this Shark... <laughs> shark Boy and Lava Girl? Frost. Edward Frost. 40 brains, 80 bronze. Society of Champions. Once an ordinary soldier, Sergeant Edward Frost found himself the unwilling sus subject of a spark experiment. This seems to be a theme. Infused with a mix of liquid nitrogen and radioactive material, he was left for dead by the scientists. But the cold put him in a state of suspended animation, allowing him to escape. Now, now known to the world as Sergeant Frost, he uses cryogenic powers to aid the Society of Champions and seek justice against Spark. I ship him in Lava Girl. Candelabra. Alright, let's kill these bitches. Tripwire. Tripwire, come here. Tripwire! What the? Okay. No, my camera! Done. Easy. Is Leah a chick? What if she's gone by the time we get there? I don't want to think about that right now. We should put some of those trip wires up around Jackson. Might be a good way to deal with the hordes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd be smart. But we'd probably blow up some stragglers. We'd put up signs, warning them. What if they can't read? <sighs> we'll make drawings. You know, like a foot tripping over a wire and then big fire. <laughs> I bet I could build them. <laughs> I don't like you. I want it in writing. Aw, oh, they're banter. From the Joels. Tripwire to whole town. Bill? How'd people get around? They didn't. It was just him. Wait, he lived alone in an entire town? Bill's town. He had trust issues. Hey, look. Who do you think it is? Uh, someone who wants us to feel her love. You think she's related to the Wolves? I don't know. Kind of fucking weird. Braid chick? Is that Abby? Where are the muscles? Wait, we have to inspect for science. Hmm. Hmm. Is there anything under this bridge? Can we go? These were all shot. The horse. Hey, look, it's Tommy's. In fact, it did a number on this one. Aww. You okay? Yeah. Sorry. It's just that. Must have taken off on foot. <laughs> you good to keep going? Yeah, I'm fine. Please. I'm liking this game, guys. I'm liking this game. They took the concept from the first game where I said it was linear, but it didn't feel too linear because you could still explore. They took that and they applied it tenfold to The Last of Us Part Two because you entered these vast areas and you can choose your own adventure as to how much you want to get into the lore, how much you want to explore, and obviously we've gone a little bit crazy off the rails with the exploration. I'm sure there's still stuff that I miss, but I am trying to make the most of this game. Because like I always say, one, it's always a great day when you get to play a video game, and two, there's you only get to play a game for the first time once, so we're making the most of it, but I feel like this is a pretty comfy place to leave off. We did some exploration, we're getting to know the dynamic between the two 
the two Gorals. So I'm excited to see where the story continues, who we are introduced with, where the story goes. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.